On April 22nd, the Supreme Court hears oral argument in an important copyright case involving Aereo, which is an internet startup company based out of Brooklyn that has the backing of media mogul Barry Diller. Now, the case has already received a lot of media attention because it pits a new internet startup against old traditional TV networks. And the case also has the potential of transforming the cable industry in the way in which people watch TV. So what does Aereo actually do? Well, Aereo provides a service that enables antennas and storage for people to watch TV broadcast shows over the internet, meaning shows of NBC, ABC, CBS, and other networks. Aereo subscribers pay eight to $12 a month in order to get the service. And then Aereo assigns an individual antenna, albeit a very small antenna, to each of its subscribers. Area also gives each subscriber some storage space on its servers so that the subscribers can choose to record some of these broadcast TV shows for later viewing, a practice called time shifting. So as you can tell, Aereo service is a cloud-based service, and the subscribers don't actually get to see the antennas or the storage space. Those are all located on Aereo's facilities in Brooklyn and other cities where it is providing service. Now the legal issue in the case is whether Aereo has to get copyright licenses and permission from the copyright holders for the TV programs that it uh, uses in its service. And in order to answer that question, the courts will have to look at the definition of public performance in the Copyright Act, especially the so-called transmit clause in that provision. Now the TV networks argue that Aereo service violates their right of public performance because it effectively constitutes a public performance and retransmission of their programs to members of the public meaning here, Aereo subscribers. Aereo, however, argues that its service does not provide a public performance of those works, but instead is merely a private performance to each individual subscriber of Aereo. Now, Aereo is banking on the fact that it provides each subscriber a unique antenna so that each subscriber only sees a copy of the broadcast through the antenna that it has licensed for use through Aereo's service. So Aereo is essentially trying to argue to the court that its internet antenna service should be likened to the antenna on old TVs, you know, the ones with rabbit ears, uh, as well as VCRs, which people in the past used to watch and record free public broadcasts of the programs from TV networks and they did so all legally without copyright permission or licenses needing to be required. Now, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals in New York agreed with Aereo's position in a two-to-one decision holding that Aereo's service did not constitute a public performance. There was one dissenting judge, but there were the two judges in the majority agreed essentially with Aereo's position, relying primarily on a previous Second Circuit case called Cablevision. The networks soon appealed to the Supreme Court, which agreed to hear the case, which is now before the court this week. Subsequently, the United States government has taken a position in this case as well, and they've actually come out on the side of the TV networks in agreeing that uh, Aereo service does constitute a public performance and therefore copyright licenses need to be obtained before any of those programs can be included in Aereo service. So as you can tell, the stakes for the TV industry are quite high in this case, and we'll have to wait and see what happens when the Supreme Court hears this case. Now, if you come back, however, to the blog on iscotus.org, I'll be providing actually a prediction of the winner of this case right after the oral argument. So stay tuned.